Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh. Is it dead? I mean, you know, dead dead? Yeah. Where are we? In the dark. In the middle of nowhere. Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. Take it easy, Axel. He called me stupid. No, I didn't. But you wanted to. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... Yep, that's totally... <sighs> it's getting dark and stuff. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Well, let's go with the treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started, then. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm gonna expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could've... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man! What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no. I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him.
If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. The jokes are... I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split Whoa, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know, because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. We'll figure it out in the morning. Maybe you're right. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. Jesse means us, not you. Axel, we'll figure it out in the morning. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Take it easy, Axel. Easy? He threatened me. He's not going to do anything. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough! We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why's that? Because I'm starving. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. It was a rough night. See anything? Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. This has to be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right! Look! Holy crap! Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me! Oh, 
hell is that? That's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, Spencer Faces. I thought we were friends. Run! Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <sighs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Let's see. I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members. members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five, five heroes. heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? 